Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Ataullah Shah, Associate Professor of Finance at the Institute of Management Sciences, Peshawar, Pakistan. In this video, we shall learn how to use uh, VLOOKUP function of MS Excel for merging two data sets. The data sets uh, are available in our class computer application for finance. We shall go to the lectures page and in the lecture 18 uh, the we shall download this data set once the file is downloaded we have two sheets in this data one is balance sheet another was income statement for analysis purposes i would like that both the data sets are on one sheet so one method is to just really to just simply copy and paste data from one sheet to another but the problem is that that the data is not the same in both the sheets let me show the real problem in this data set we have 1000 5169 observations while in the second data we have 1000 5188 observations so simple copy and paste will of course copy the data to the next sheet but the data will will be mismatched we need to merge the data on the basis of symbol and on the basis of year so that for each company and in each year we copy relevant data from the second sheet since this sheet has many observations 188 i'll make this sheet as a destination sheet and i'll make this sheet balance sheet data as a source sheet so from this data sheet i'll copy the data to another sheet before copying the data uh, we look up function uh, accepts four arguments the first argument is the we look up value so if we type we look up function the first argument is we look up value so it accepts a single value uh, then we have another option uh, input that is table array this is the range from which we will in which we'll look for the data the third one is the column index this is the column uh, from which we'll copy the data the, this is a numerical number and then we have a last option that is the search type and we shall type zero for finding the exact search now in our data we have two type of vlookup values one is the company symbol uh, and second one is the uh, second one is the uh, year so I'll make a composite VLOOKUP value in the first column so I'll insert one column and uh, merge these two fields into one with this function now we have a composite VLOOKUP value since there are blank values make sure that all the formula is copied down till the last cell now the next step is to give a name to this whole sheet of course we can also um, uh, give range but since we will be using this data many times so giving name to the selected range is a good idea so to select all the data to the right control shift right arrow key and then toward the end of the file control shift down arrow key so it ha we have selected all the data now we shall give it a name let me give it a name of bs that is a shortcut for balance sheet and then press enter now to make sure that you have assigned name to this whole range uh, select bs and this whole range is okay 
One more thing, uh, we need to find out, so I'm adding one more uh, row to the top. We need to find out the column number. This is column one, this is two, this is three, this is four. So what I'll do is to, just for my convenience, I'll fill the series. And we have a total of nine columns. Uh, in the first column, we have the criteria, and in the second and third and fourth column, we have the data. Now, I'll copy the um, data headers from here. So I need, since we already have these two in the other f sheet, we have symbol and year, so we do not need to copy that. We shall copy these variable names to the new sheet and paste them over here. And one more thing. Okay, uh, I'll again add once uh, row above so that I know exactly uh, I the, the column numbers. So from here, we have these column numbers. Okay, I'll assign these different colors so that we know that this is a borrowed data. It doesn't matter, but for my convenience, I'm giving it a different color. Okay. Now we can apply the VLOOKUP formula. Um, we look up, we are looking for Ebert and it is a composite VLOOKUP value and 1996 comma, in which table, this is the table BS, which we write a few moments ago, we defined it. The column index is four for the specific variable form, and the search type is false, or we can type zero, we want exact search. Okay. So we, we have got the value for Abbott, and if we confirm that, it is Abbott Laboratories Pakistan. Okay, now if we drag this formula to the right, it will not work. Simply because since this is a relative reference, the reference changes B3 and C3 from here. So we need to fix, we need to make this, uh, this absolute, um, but we do not need to make it absolute both column and row wise. We need to make it absolute just for when we copy it to the right. It doesn't move, it doesn't change the column. So we need to fix the column part of this formula. So right click uh, near the cell reference and press con uh, F4, function four. So it will add two dollar signs. We do not need two dollar signs. We Press again, now it is dollar sign with uh, the row number. We need to have dollar sign with the column number. So I press F4 once again. I do this again with this one, F4, F4, and F4. Okay, what about the column index, which is G4? This one should not change when we copy it down. Yes, it should change when we copy it to the right. So I press F4 and one time a four. So now the row number is fixed. I think this should work. And let confirm it. Yes, these two references haven't changed, but the column index, uh, the, the this one has changed. And we will continue copying it to the A uh, to right till the data end and double click and magically all the data from the previous sheet is here. N not available will be shown when the specific combination is not present in the other data set. And we have a perfectly matching data. Let's say uh, confirm one value randomly. Uh, this is ZELP 2005 and we have 83. So in the balance sheet file, control F, Z, E, L, P. Okay, this is help. 
and 2005 value so it is 83 exactly 3.50 and 5 so this is how it works if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and have a great day thanks for watching and for more videos please visit our other website fintechprofessor.com